does ribboning work on wavy hair? So many of you have been asking me, well, this is my daughter, Ilaria, and as you can see, the underneath layers of her hair are quite a bit curlier than the top layers. And so we like to use ribboning on those hairs that are a little bit straighter. Let's see how it works on her. The curl on the right, we applied gel and diffuse, and it curled really well. The two other curls, we just wet with water and scrunched. But we were worried that they wouldn't hold, so we went ahead and used some pins. So I just want to show you the results of these different types of curls that I made. This first curl here, we had rolled up completely and just put one pin through it. And went, and I think I, I didn't put any product on that. And I just maybe had it a tiny bit damp. I don't really know why it curled so much because I thought it was dry. It was really weird. Anyway, just letting it set in that curl position for a while really made it curl. And we already were playing with it and we were pulling on it, but when I first took it out, it was all the way up to here. And that's just beautiful. And then um, this second curl here was the one that we had pinned on the side of her head in a couple of places. And as you can see, it's curlier at the bottom where we had it left in the little uh, twist there, the little spiral. And then the top part's more elongated that we pinned to the side of her head. So even though it, it has the twist in it there that remained and a little bit of lift at the root, it's definitely more elongated. So it would have been better probably if we left it pinned all the way. And then this first one is the one that we put the product on and also diffused but we just left it hanging. Um, and it's a very pretty defined wave. I really like it, but it's definitely not as curly as this other option. So this is gonna give you some ideas of how hair that is practically straight, but naturally wavy, will react. So hopefully that'll help you guys.